Good morning, family. Welcome to today's Lessons for Life. Today is Wednesday, September 2nd, 2009. Today we're reading 2 Kings chapter 25. We've made it through the last chapter <coughs> of the book of 2 Kings. And um, as always, I encourage you to read the chapter through for yourself, see what you get from your email lesson we put on the blog. Uh, but one thing I noticed at the beginning of this chapter, you see uh, King Zedekiah <coughs> and the um, Babylonians that came up against them, but they were outside of the city, outside of the walls of the city, and they says they were encamped against them. And what the downfall was of even Zedekiah, well, one of how, how they actually got overtaken was that they began to have a famine and there was no uh, food. There wasn't any more food for them to eat. So even within the city, then uh, they ran out of food and then that's when they had to um, open the, the gates and then they fled and all this other stuff. But what I got as a lesson for that is just even um, teaching of being uh, self-sufficient, being able to take care of, uh, you know, provide for yourself without having to look outside because as I'm reading, I'm thinking, you know, well, the city has walls. Uh, you think they would have everything in there that they can um, take care of themselves. They have the temple. They have God. You know, the, the, everything is right there in the city. They can uh, grow food or whatever. But still, because the Babylonians were encamped against them, they couldn't get any help from outside or get any, I guess, food or whatever they needed to continue to um, live. So, like I said, the lesson we can get from that, and this is something I've you know, thought about for a while before, and just being at a point where you're not looking, um, you, where you can be self-sufficient, where you can take care of yourself, you can get your own food, you can, um, you know, survive without having any kind of <coughs> assistance from outside. And you see, when they needed to have the help from outside, that's where their um, their downfall was. So you know, the one who was in control of the food, and this is something. Um, we've been taught before too, you know, the one who is in control of the food is actually the one who has the power. So, because for most people, you know, they depend upon going to the supermarket to get food or going to the grocery store or whatever. And if it ever came to a point where you couldn't go to the supermarket or grocery store or um, the food there wasn't uh, proper or wasn't good for you, then you wouldn't know what to do. So it's really uh, for us to uh, learn about these things, learn how to be able to survive without going outside and um, getting from other sources, but be able to be self-sufficient and take care of ourselves um, together. Even if you have a little garden or something that you're growing things, which you can uh, live off of. But this is why I saw was uh, Zedekiah and the, uh, those in Jerusalem and Judah, the, their downfall was that they ran out of food within their city. So that's why they uh, eventually were overtaken by the Babylonians. So Self-sufficiency is a, is a uh, key thing I want to um, share with Lessons for Life for t today. Learn how to be uh, able to take care of yourself, uh, your household, without having to depend upon um, and count on other things, other uh, things that might not be there for you in the future. Okay? So with that, that says Lessons for Life. Create yourself a wonderfully blessed day today, and we'll talk again tomorrow.